So today we're going to explore multiplying radical expressions. Uh, expression is more than one term separated by a plus or minus sign. So, suppose we wanted to multiply the square root of 10 times the square root of 6 plus 3. Well, we will use the distributive property to multiply the square root of 10 through the binomial And then we would simplify using the things we've learned about how to multiply radicals in the previous sections. In the first term, we're going to multiply 6 times 10 and get square root of 60. In the second term, we end up with 3 square root 10. Now let's look inside of the square root of 60 to see if there's any perfect squares. Why don't you take a minute, pause the video, and see if you can find them. You should have found that the 60 breaks up into the square root of 4 and the square root of 15. The square root of 4 is 2. We also notice that 2 root 15 and 3 root 10 are not like radicals. And there's nothing we can do to reduce them to be right, like radicals because there are no perfect squares in root 15 or root 10. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Now let's take a look at a more complicated problem. In this problem, we are multiplying two binomials. To multiply the two binomials, we can distribute the one binomial into the other binomial. It's also known as the FOIL method. Please pause the video and try to FOIL the two binomials. When FOILing or using the distributive property, we take the square root of 6 times the square root of 6. That's the first. Then we take the outside, the square root of 6 times root 3. Then we take the inside, which is negative 2 root 3 times root 6. And finally, we take the last, and get negative 2 root 3 times root 3. Now we're going to simplify the radicals just like we did before in previous steps. Please take a moment to copy this into your notes. Then. Please simplify the radicals using the multiplication properties of radicals that you have learned. The square root of 6 times the square root of 6 is the square root of 36. The square root of 6 times the square root of 3 is the square root of 18. 2 times root 3 times root 6 is 2 times root 18. 2 times root 3 times root 3 is 2 times root 9. The square root of 36 is 6. These are like radicals, so they can be combined to negative root 18 minus 2 times root 9, but root 9 is really 3, so 2 times 3 is 6. Positive 6 and negative 6 equals 0. Then we're left with negative root 18. Negative root 18 can be reduced into the square root of 2 and the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 
the final answer is negative 3 root 2. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Copy the following problem to your notes. Pause the video and complete the problem. After completed, hit play again and you can see the solution. Here's the solution. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes.